Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hit that like button down below if you're having a good day. And in this one, it is time to go over the first of the overtime challenges for Chapter 2. And I'm going to be showing you all of the locations of the food trucks, the bus stops, full guides for all of the challenges to help you get the overtime styles for Remedy, the outfit, also the back bling, the antidote back bling, and of course the medax pickaxe style. All of these are ones that you can get from these challenges. And again, I'm going to be showing you how to do them easily, quickly, with tips, tricks, and secrets secrets for all of them to help you get them done in the fastest way possible. And as a reminder guys, we are more than likely going to be getting more overtime challenges, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss my guides on those, and also just info on those in general. I'll keep you guys up to date with that stuff. And again, if you want to help support me, if you find these guides helpful, you can simply support me by using code THELAMASER in the item shop. I get a bit back from those purchases and it helps support the channel, and I appreciate it a ton. You guys are the best. But without further ado here guys, let's just go ahead and jump into it with the first challenge on the list and that is the food trucks challenge you have to find three of them spread out around the map and obviously the best mode to do this in is team rumble because you can glide in between the locations however they are fairly far away from each other so let's hop into it all right guys but here we are in game just in creative to give you a good example of where exactly these are and how to go in between them in the fastest way possible all of these food trucks obviously it doesn't work in creative but again it's a good way to show you guys so basically the first location i want to show you again there are four of them but the first one is over towards Pleasant Park so towards the top left of the map so I think this one would actually be closer yeah this one's pretty close so basically you want to head over towards Pleasant Park but you actually want to go a little bit to the north of it you want to go directly north of Pleasant Park and go over to the left a little bit towards I believe it's at this general area around that building and if we go on down here, you can even see the food truck right there. It is the Der Burger food truck right out in the open. So simply go on down there and then you'll be able to find it in all of its glory. There it is right there. And again, you don't have to dance at it. You simply have to visit it. So nothing special. That'll be the first location right there. Then after that, guys, you're actually going to want to head over to um, sort of close to this center island right here. So again, you can do this in Team Rumble where you just run and uh, build up ramps and glide on over there. But for the sake of time let's just simply go back here so we can go over towards frenzy farm which is a bit close to that location the actual food truck is to the south of salty springs and again salty springs is obviously right here but the specific location of the food truck you want to go south a little bit and you'll find it in this general area where the road sort of curves around that is where the pizza pete's food truck is and yeah as we're gliding on in you can see the pizza pete food truck right there so yeah this is the second one that you need the second food truck and that is the exact location again to the south of Salty Springs. But let's keep it going here guys with the third of the four food trucks. With the third of the four food trucks, this one is the Fork Knife and it's a bit to the north of Lazy Lake or a little bit to the southwest of Dirty Docks as well. It's a bit in between those two locations. But this one is uh, around this area. So again, find Lazy Lake, go a bit to the north of it. And the Fork Knife is near this bridge. It's in this general area as you can see where the road splits in two. So that's the spot that you want to go in glide on towards so yeah we've got the road where it splits into two and the food truck is a little bit down the road that you know splits off to the left and as you can see right here this is exactly what it looks like so visit it and that should be your third and final one however if you do want to check out a fourth one i'm pretty sure this one counts as well and it may actually be closer so you may want to go to this one too but this one is to the south of the fork knife truck it's near the mountains area over here so a little bit if you find um misty meadows you want to go in this direction to the east of misty Misty Meadows directly or basically just go to the mountains because the spot for this one on the mountains is if you find this area right here it's a bit down and I think it's right on top of this little part of the mountain. It's near the redacted area but yeah it's on top of that mountain which is pretty interesting but the reason for that is because it's actually the snow cone food truck which again I think technically counts as a food truck. I haven't checked it for sure so you know it's something to keep in mind but again I feel like this one should count since it's you know pretty much exactly like the other ones and it's snow cones. Who doesn't like snow cones? So yeah guys those are the four locations of those but keeping it going here guys the next challenge on the list is to earn silver survivor medals now this one is pretty easy after you know like exactly what it is and the mode i would recommend for this one is to do solo i'm not even sure if you can really get it done in team rumble because basically what it has to do with is surviving longer than opponents and in solo the uh, specific numbers for that are 50 which is the bronze medal 25 which is the silver medal and then 10 for the gold medal and obviously as the challenge says you need to get to silver so you need to survive to the top 25 and in solo that's generally pretty quick i'd say it's probably faster than 
duos and squads. So yeah, just get into a match. Maybe you can go for some of these other challenges. If you happen to get top 25, there you go. You're working on the challenge. Then after that, with the uh, next challenge, you have got SMG eliminations, which is very easy. Obviously, I would recommend Team Rumble for this. You don't have to worry about getting eliminated. It's pretty easy to find SMGs around the map. And in fact, I use them like all the time. They're really, really good. But yeah, Team Rumble is super easy. You can just glide towards people, get those eliminations in like no time flat. It is super simple. So let's just keep it going here. The next one is to search chests at landmarks. Now, this one is pretty easy as well. However, there's better ways to go about doing it. Like, for example, you could go to a random landmark in the middle of nowhere that only has one chest. But why do that when you could instead go to one that has like eight chests? So with that being said, guys, the location that I would recommend as a landmark is like the uh, orchard, it's called, or something along those lines. Basically, it's uh, up towards this area, as you can see. This location has a lot of chests for a landmark. Like, there's a few in the main building itself. I think there's three total in that building. So just look around for a little bit. You'll be able to find them. But then after that, there's one inside of the barn. Also one in this, like, random building off to the side. And then on top of that, you can also find one in the... Uh, well, there's actually... I know there's one for sure. There may be two in the house in the back of the orchard. But then after that, you can also find two in, like, the tree areas. There's one on each side. So those are more chests that you can grab. But again, that's super easy to get because I'm pretty sure all of those count since it's like one landmark. So that's what I recommend for that one, guys. It should save you a lot of time. Then after that, guys, we have another very easy challenge. That is just to reach 100 of both health and shield in different matches. Just do something like Team Rumble. Look around for shields like minis, the half potions, slurp fishes, stuff like that to get your shields up and get to that 100 shield. If it's like in Team Rumble, that should be super easy, especially if you look for like airdrops and stuff like that. But again, you have to do it in three different matches, which is the only thing that takes time. But you can do that with other challenges as well, such as, for example, here, the next challenge is to deal damage with a common, uncommon, and rare weapon in a single match. And again, as just a reminder, common, uncommon, and rare are respectively gray for common, green for uncommon, and blue for rare. So super easy overall. There's plenty of those around the map. And in Team Rumble, it shouldn't be a problem. Then after that, guys, you have also got deal damage to enemy structures, which is another one that is by far the easiest to do in Team Rumble because there's so many enemy structures to find. You have to deal a total of 2,500, which seems like a lot, but it's really not that much, especially in Team Rumble because like all you need to do is just find one of those battles that happen and find where there's like a bunch of structures built up into the air. Try to figure out which ones are the enemies, but I mean, just start breaking down a bunch of the structures and you'll eventually get this challenge done. But keeping it going here, guys, we have a fairly tough challenge, but I think I figured out the fastest way to do this and I'll also be showing you the locations, but this challenge is the visit different bus stops in a single match. So these bus stops are spread out all around the map. Obviously, they look like, well, bus stops. <laughs> but with that being said, you're going to want to do Team Rumble since you have to visit three of them. So having that glider redeploy saves you a lot of time. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a match so I can show you the best spot to find three of these. All right, guys, but let's hop back into the game for this one so I can show you these locations in game and also show you uh, like gliding in between them about how long it takes. Obviously, we're not going to go like the entire way. going to skip around a little bit. But yeah, basically the first location you want to go to is to the south of Craigie Cliffs just a bit, which will make more sense once we actually get to look at the map. So yeah, guys, we have Craigie Cliffs right there, and to the south of it a bit is the first location of the first bus stop, and I believe it's along this road. I'm sort of forgetting the exact location. I think it's maybe right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it right there. And as we're gliding on in closer, you can see that, yeah, that's the bus stop, or one of the bus stops. Again, there's a bunch of these around the map, but I believe these are like the three that are closest together. So there you have it, the first bus stop for you to visit, but again, we need to visit three of them. You can just simply mine some of these trees and materials around here for, well, materials, and then you want to build up a ramp directly to the east. This location is great because the next one of these bus stops is right over this hill, which is actually pretty close to the previous one. So yeah, if you go on down here, you can find the second one over in this area, right over here next to this sort of neighborhood area. But yeah, there's a bus stop right there. Then after that, guys, you're going to simply want to build up sort of towards this direction to the south, or it doesn't really matter if you go to the south. Basically, you want to head over a little bit to Steamy Stacks, but instead follow the road and simply go behind these trees. Again, these three locations are great because it sort of wraps around, and if you simply glide over the spots where the road wraps around, you save yourself a lot of time. And as you can see, there is the third one off in the distance, and in no time, you will have these three locations visited. And again, I'm pretty sure these are the three locations that are closest together. And then after that, guys, we have Achieve Weapon Specialist Accolades by dealing damage with weapons. You have to get a total of 500 
five of those. And honestly, for this one, guys, just deal damage, get eliminations to get those uh, weapon accolades. It's really not that hard if you hop into a Team Rumble match and just to deal damage normally with like one weapon at a time, you'll eventually get this challenge done in no time. It's super easy overall. There's really no tips to give you about that one. And then after that, guys, you have be the first to catch a fish, first to land from the battle bus, or first to get an elimination. So obviously, you just have to do one of those. And with that being said, I would 100% recommend trying to be the first to catch a fish. Or more specifically, you can try to be the first to land from the battle bus. But with that one and also the elimination one, you're going to be competing against people that aren't even trying to do the challenge. They could land before you without even like trying to. However, with the first to catch a fish, that one you can probably get a little bit of a head start on. So with that being said, I would recommend maybe just going into solo. And then as soon as you can, hop out of the battle bus, dive straight down, try to find like a dock or something because those often have the barrels which have the fishing rods in them. Grab a fishing rod and then try and get a fish out of one of the fishing circles or just in general by fishing in like all of the water. But that should probably be the best way to get that one completed. So yeah guys, with all of that being said, you should be fully done with all of these challenges. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because again, it looks like more of these overtime challenges are going to be coming out soon. And on top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here on the screen right now. There's a bunch of fun ones that I'm sure you guys will enjoy, so be sure to check them out. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.